try again. Minus x squared plus two x squared. It's like minus one, it's two. Uh, so, okay. The x squareds don't go away. So it would just be one. Well, I would Anything think it would else? just be. I would. I would think that the x squareds would cancel. They don't. They don't. Well, not when you're adding and subtracting. It's. It's like. Um, I don't want to describe. So they're, they're they're considered like terms, so they're they're still one of them. Okay. All right. If you recall, when you divide, you always bring down the next piece. All right. So now it's the same thing that you did in the previous problem or previous part of the problem. You have to figure out what do you multiply x by to get one x squared, and if you don't know the answer, you take the x squared and divide it by x. What do you multiply x by to get x squared, what does x. this become? Just x. So that goes in the x column. Okay. So now you take that x and you multiply it by the x and the 2. Can you tell me what that becomes? Yeah. Uh, x squared minus 2x. All right. And then again, I recommend that you change the signs. Rather than subtract, so that becomes negative, that becomes positive. Now you add, what does that become? Oh, I have a question though. Yeah. This is kind of like, it's weird because we're just using the X. We're not, like, we're not trying to figure out X minus two, how that goes into X squared, which is just kind of weird. So do you always just use the first term? Yeah. What was that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's a it's very much a repetitive uh, thing here. So, um, the the leading coefficient, leading oh, sorry, the leading, you know, thing here, one x squared minus one x squared. I don't know what to call it. And they're they're like parts of the of the intermediate steps, but they always cancel but then this one does not so you've got to be able to take minus 14x add it to 2x oh yeah okay so uh that would just be x squared wait a minute try again oh no sorry okay. just be zero it's zero and yeah and uh I mean, it is it is zero x squared, but zero times anything is zero. That's why you don't write the okay write that okay. And then uh, negative twelve x. Good, and then you bring down the twenty four. So now you're playing the same game that you previously done. What do you multiply x by to get minus twelve x? Uh, negative 12. Negative 12. That goes up here. And then now you take that negative 12, and you multiply it by the x and by the 2. What does that become down here? Uh, negative 12 x plus 24. And then you again change the signs change the signs because that will make it easier it's easier to add than subtract add and that becomes negative what is okay. the net result here what does this become um just zero zero now it does not always work out to zero but it will in your problems for a while i suppose hmm Okay. You ready to do another one? Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of other stuff we can do, but we're just going to focus on the division part. And then that'll lead into other stuff. So we're going to take this. We're going to divide it by x to minus one this time. So you've got a part that goes outside the house. The part that stays inside the house, like that. Okay, so it's the same game, same game. You got to figure out what do you multiply x by to make 2x cubed? 
If you're stuck, you take two X cubed and divide it by X. Yeah. When you divide, that's when the variables cancel or the powers in this case. Oh. Oh, so it'll be two X squared. And so very important that you put that in the appropriate column. You can't just put it wherever you feel like. And then you take that 2x squared now and you multiply it by x and the other one minus one. Okay. So that becomes 2x cubed minus 2x squared. And then very, very important that you change the signs. Can't emphasize that enough. When you add the first column, it should always go to zero. If it doesn't, you made a mistake. Okay. What does this become when you add vertically in the second column here? Um, negative 11 squared. X squared. X squared. Yeah. All right. And you bring down the plus 24x. Okay. Now it's the same game. What do you multiply x by to get minus 11 x squared? Uh, negative 11 X. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and, uh, what is minus 11 X times X minus one? What does that become? Uh, negative 11 X squared, uh, plus 11 X. Okay. Change the signs. Add them up. What does this become? Uh, okay. It would be. Oh, so it's okay. So. So if you flip, so if like the, if it was plus eleven and minus eleven. You have to flip both, right? Okay. Change the signs on both. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't have to do that. I mean, you can just subtract, but I found it's better, you know, after do, telling students how to do this for a long time, this is better. Okay. But if I were in the classroom, I would show you both. I would, I would have one board with change the signs, one board with subtraction, so you could do whatever you want. Pick, you know, just don't mix. Um. Okay, so 13x. 13x. And then you bring down the minus 9. And then uh, plus 13 on the top. Okay, agreed. And so that becomes 13x minus 13. You again change the signs. Yeah, that is easy. Okay. And then uh, four, yeah. So this is called your remainder. We'll get to the importance of that in a moment. Um, if you haven't written this down, please do. I'd like to give you a problem to try now on your own. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah, let me know when you get it all down. It's going to be very similar, meaning it's just different numbers, but same setup. Okay, I'm good. So here you go. Here's one for you to try. Uh, this divided by x plus 3. And I just made this up, so it may not work. The, the This division part, it may give you a rain, remainder. It might be 0. I have no idea. It might be big numbers. I don't know. Just give it a try. Okay.
Okay, I have a question uh, on one part of it. Okay. So I got, for the first part, like I understood, I got 3x cubed plus 9x squared. It'd be Um, 3x squared, though. yeah, on the top, but, I mean, for or sorry, not on the top, but like for the first part of the like actual division. Okay, and then what do you do from here? Um... What did I write in red over and over again? Change the signs, change Change the sign. the sign. Yeah, you got to remember to do that. Okay, yeah, I was forgetting to change both. Okay. Yeah, I just messed up on that part. Yeah, it's not a choice. It's like, yeah, you got everyone's got to do it. Um, all terms. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay, yeah, uh, I got it. Okay, tell me your next uh, next two terms up here. Uh, negative five x. Okay, and uh, negative two. Did you have a remainder down here at the bottom? No. There's nothing left over. It worked out perfectly. Yep. Wow. Okay, minus five x squared. Minus 15x, change the signs. Minus 2x, minus 6. That does work. All right. Uh, good job on that. Yeah. Becomes uh, zero. All right. Nicely done. So now we're going to look at another type of problem here together. Uh, 3x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3 divided by x. plus one, like that. So it looks really similar to the last problem. You're like, what's different about this? Well, the there's something missing right here. What, what do you maybe think is missing there? Uh, I have no idea. What... So it's, uh, it's zero X. Zero X is what's missing there. Okay. And uh, it's like your scout team, you need the, you don't have the seven foot center. So you put a broom, broomstick up or something um, to uh, indicate that. But you have to put in any of these missing terms. So if it's a cubic, it, it means it's got a square term, it's got an x to the power of one term and a number term. So if they're missing, if any of them are missing, you have to put them in. If you don't, if you don't, you may eventually realize it. or you may not, and then your answer will be completely wrong. Okay. Completely wrong. So uh, how does it impact the actual problem? It, it doesn't. Like you just do the same thing you've been doing. You do bring it down, even though you're like, why would I bring down nothing? Because it's going to line up with, with the terms, okay? So Okay. this time it's 2x, 2x squared plus 2x, subtract, subtract, minus 2x, bring down the 3, and then you multiply by negative 2 to get minus 2x, minus 2, this is plus 3. Change the signs, and this time you have a remainder of, of 5. So will you get this... Uh, 
down in your notes before I give you a problem to try? Yeah. Okay, I got it. So now, uh, your problem will be 4x cubed minus 10x plus 4 divided by x plus 2. Okay. There is a term missing. Yeah. Okay, I kind of, I have like one term left at the bottom. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, did you write zero X squared? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So then what's the first thing, what did you write above the X squared here? What's your first? Wait, I thought it was just zero X. I thought you, that's what you wrote in the last one though. I did, I did. So notice in the last one, I excluded the X term, power of one. Yeah. So you've got to have all the exponents, three, two, one. Oh, okay. So we learn, we learn more from our mistakes than our successes. So it's okay that you didn't, didn't catch that. Yeah. Um, do you want to try redoing it from here? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's okay. a big Things
Okay, yeah, I still think I got the same answer, actually. So it should be 4x squared here. Is that what you put? Yeah. Okay, give me the rest of it in the top. Minus 8x plus 6. And did you get a remainder? Of negative 8. Okay, let me take a look here. So 4x cubed plus 8x squared, change the signs. Minus 8x squared, minus 10x, minus 8x squared, minus 16x, change the signs. 6x plus 4, 6x plus 12, change the signs. You got it. All right, very good. Okay. So the last type of problem we will look at before we switch to synthetic division is, um, let's say I give you something like x cubed plus one divided by x minus one. So this time, there's several missing terms. There's no x squared. There's no x. So you have to add in as many as as are required. Okay. So it, it's up to you. This is what you're going to be tested on. Your teacher is going to give you one like this, like this one we just did, where you have to remember to do that. Okay. So this becomes x squared, x cubed x. minus x squared, change the signs. You bring down the zero x, you add x, you get x squared minus one x, change the signs. You end up getting one x plus one, one there. And uh, yeah. be very careful here because sometimes it's easy to sit there and change the signs too quickly. And this one has a remainder of, of two. Okay. Any, uh, any questions on that before we proceed? Uh, no, I just, so what terms do you need to like know how to add? Like there, there has to be a second and a first degree. There, as many as, as you need. So you start with the highest degree exponent and you have to go down. Okay. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, no, I don't think do you so. want do you want to do a few more like that or do you do you feel like you have it? Yeah, maybe one more here. Yeah. Okay. So here's one I found. And um let's make this an n cubed. Okay. So I'll let you set that up and uh see what you come up with. All right. Can I just read you my, like, start of the equation to make sure I have it right? Sure. Is it n cubed plus 0n squared minus 3n minus 21? Yes. Okay. All right.
Oh, I might have messed up. What the heck? Uh, you know, just one option is to re, you know, redo, look again at your work. Um, it's easy to miss a sign. If you miss a sign in any spot, it'll propagate through the whole problem. Uh, I guess I got a, just a lot of big numbers. Yeah, I, I it may not may not work out nicely. No, that's not friendly, as I say. Okay. Okay, I did that. All right. Um, so what I was gonna show you here, let me get caught up uh, to uh to you on this one. So this is uh three twenty-two plus plus. So did you get minus whatever three forty-three? Yeah. Okay. So there's there's an important thing here, which is that this is the quotient, this is the remainder. Remainder, and this up here is the divisor. Okay, so oh wait, I got three oh I got three oh one left over. Um so it's minus forty six n. Let's check take a look at this one more time. Oh yeah, okay. Minus forty six n plus three twenty two, change the signs. Yeah. Easy to do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. So this this part's really important. It's how to write your answer. It's the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. So in your problem, the quotient is n squared plus 7n minus 46. That's your quotient. Plus, your remainder is minus 343. That's what's left over here. Your divisor is what went out in front, n minus 7. This is how your instructor expects you to write the answer. Please make sure you get this in your notes, because I'm going to give you a couple of problems to uh, <laughs> demonstrate this. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. So let's say I give you a problem like this, this one, and uh, we're, we're not going to solve it. or not going to divide it like we've been doing, but let's, let's set it up here. So you, uh, you set it up, you go through all the motions here, and you end up getting R plus six, and then down here at the end, you have a remainder of minus 10, okay? This is the quotient, this is the remainder, this is the divisor. Could you write your solution? 
like we just mentioned, please. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Would it be R squared plus 14R plus 38? Nope. If you, if you go back and look, quotient is up here. Oh, okay. Remainder's down here, whatever's left over. Divisor's over here. You write it as quotient plus remainder over divisor. Oh, oops. This is called the dividend, which oh. is meaningless, but that's that's what it's called. Um, nothing to do with this R squared plus 14R. Nothing okay. to do with that. So R plus 6 plus... Um, Negative 10. Well, I thought, wait, the remainder is the negative 10, right? That's right, yeah. Uh, over divisor, is that R plus 8? Yes. Okay. So it should look something like, like this. And that's kind of what I saw. Now, if you had put the negative up here and the plus here, that's fine too. Those are also, that also works. Okay. okay, so a much shorter problem, but kind of start to finish. Um, I'd like you to divide this, but your answer has to be in this form. That's what I'm looking for. Like, assume I'm only grading that, you know, when I'm done. You got to do all your work like we've been doing, but I want it in this form when you're done. Okay. All right. Okay. Um all right, right. And the last one, let's see. Okay, I got X minus one plus um nine over X plus six. Very good. That is hundred percent correct. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna switch to synthetic division. It's actually a pretty short thing, but we don't, we'll just see how this goes. Um, we're actually going to reuse some of the problems from earlier uh, that we did. Well, I uh, know nah, that that's not important. Um, okay, let me, let me grab. Um, did these work? How do these work? Um, okay, so let's say. Let's say we're going to take 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 11x plus 3. 
and divided by x plus 3, like this, okay? So okay. synthetic division is a very different form than, than polynomial division. So the first thing you do is you set this you set this equal to 0, that's x plus 3 equal to 0, and you solve for x. What, what does that become? Mm, oh, three. Try again. Oh, we're trying to find, okay. So negative three of them, so. And that goes in the box here. If you like the hockey analogy, you know, you're in the box. Okay. All right. The next thing you do is you write the coefficients of the, what's called the dividend, but it, it's the, the first thing. You write the coefficients, a little space in between them. Okay. Now, if we are, if you're missing coefficients, you would put a zero in. We'll get to that later. But this is this is the setup. Okay. The uh, algorithm, the routine, is pretty pretty basic. You bring the first number down. Okay. Bring the three down. You take the number that you bring down, whatever is down here, and you multiply it by what's in the box. So, what is three times minus three? Uh, negative nine. You put that here, the result there, and then you add. You're adding. You actually are adding in the first position here. It's just zero. So you, that's why you bring it down. Five plus negative nine is negative four. Excuse me. What is negative four times negative three? Sorry. Um, your screen went out. Um, that would be 12. 12, negative 11 plus 12 is 1. Then you take that 1 and multiply it by negative 3. What does that become? Negative 3. Becomes negative 3. And then you add and you get 0. <laughs> this last position is your remainder. Like that. Yeah, okay. questions, thoughts on that? Oh uh, no, I think I, I get it. So it's uh it's it's easier to do. Um there's a few more wrinkles to it. I mean we don't we don't really have time to do like a bunch more problems, but um it's you're gonna get one problem on your test. Typically there's on your test or whatever you guys are calling it now, you get one long division for sure, and then the others, I don't know how many, but you'll get the rest will use synthetic division. Okay. All right, we're going to stop there for today. Good job.